Okay, um, once again, physical security, um, there, you know, we need to do uh, drills. We need to do drill and practice. Generally speaking, um, issues of physical security, um, we, we need to practice, we need to train, we need to make people aware of it. You know, in, in this more than in um, any of the other aspects of uh, um, physical, well, information security, um, we need to train people. And, and so, you know, drills are important. Exercises are important. And testing um, what we have set up and, and whether or not it's uh, appropriate and going to address a particular problem. Uh, testing our procedures, uh, testing our training is more important than in, in many other aspects of information security. So uh, we need to, to try and address those things. Um, so have evacuation drills. Uh, evacuation exercises, as we talked about last time, in terms of fire drills. Um, have uh, penetration tests. Um, now again, uh, penetration testing, uh, particularly physical penetration testing, you know, this is, this is something that's uh, maybe fun, but it, it can give you valuable information. It can provide um, uh, uh, what we need in, in, in terms of assessing our, our physical uh, security structure if we do it the right way. Um, if, well, you know, of course, it's easy enough to do it the wrong way. Uh, and that is always a possibility and something that we need to assess. As I say, um, penetration tests are fun, but... Um, you know, be be aware. I, I think we're going to be talking about uh, penetration tests a bit later. Um, but um, it's a complicated situation, but we do have to know um, what it is that we expect out of the penetration test. Uh, what information do we um, want out of it? Do we expect to get out of it? And is the uh, penetration test, if, if we're you know, dealing with an outside company, going to provide us with the information that we actually do want, that we expect to be able to get. Uh, um, it, physical penetration tests particularly, um, uh, one of the aspects that we have to pay attention to there is in regard to uh, the get out of jail free card, as it's frequently called, some kind of document for the um, uh, penetration testing uh, company or individuals, um, so that you know if if they get caught doing a penetration test and somebody calls the cops on them, uh, they can pull this out and say, no, I am authorized. This is a penetration test rather than a robbery. Um, and uh, the letter usually will include um, the phone number of somebody to contact in the company to verify this. Now, make sure that that person indeed will be available to be called that this is a, a cell phone that the person is going to be carrying the cell phone that they you know all that because uh there have been situations where uh of course you know somebody couldn't be contacted and you know the penetration tester gets thrown in jail in one particular case uh the person uh, was doing a penetration test on a friday night um, the uh, uh, person who was supposed to be contacted was out at the opera, turned his cell phone sound off, never got the call, and uh, for one reason or another, uh, never um, checked uh, messages that weekend. And, and the you know Pentrace test uh, person was in jail all weekend. Um, and you can bet that that showed up on the bill, final bill, 
at overtime rates uh, and probably a little bit extra than that um, once again maintenance um, you know this is physical stuff physical stuff needs maintenance um, you know, have uh, checklists um, uh, noting uh, regular maintenance has to take place um, uh, <laughs> in in my uh, new place uh, it's got a heat pump. Um, it's got nine foot ceilings. You know, what the heck am I, uh, you know, dwarfish as I am, um, need nine foot ceilings for? And to make it worse, the head for the heat pump is uh, six inches mounted, six inches below the nine foot ceiling. So I have had to purchase a stepladder for the sole purpose of getting up there every two weeks which I just did this morning, in fact, uh, and vacuuming off the top of the uh, heat pump, the, the sort of air, uh, well, semi-filter. It's, it's not too uh, drastic a filter situation. But anyways, we need to pay attention to the maintenance requirements, have the checklists, do the maintenance on a regular basis, uh, monitor outside maintenance contractors um, in, in terms of uh, any potential security risks in that regard. Uh, so a number, a number of aspects to deal with in terms of maintenance.